Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to be demonstrating the Rediger row using an oxygen absorber. They're also known as oxygen scavengers. Um, the contents of them are pretty much similar to like say a hand warmer or a foot warmer. There is iron powder included in these and that helps absorb oxygen from say food products. Oh say like uh, uh, beef jerky which is what I got this one from. All I've done here is simply expose this for a little while in a very humid area. Now, I'm sure that you could expose it to water and put it in a piece of paper towel like this too and it would still rust out in a short while but that's pretty much how I uh, uh, prepared this which was really no preparation at all. Um, I'm going to be using cotton in this demo and uh, I'm at my favorite little hiding spot in the woods and uh, I'll show you how well this works guys. I'm sure you guys have probably seen oxygen absorbers and different things. Um, I couldn't tell you the different types. I know that all of them are not the same. The contents of this one should be uh, iron powder, sodium chloride which is basically salt and uh, I think uh, activated charcoal I'm not really sure. Um, I'm not really sure, guys, if these things can get hot like a uh, hand warmer or anything like that. Probably not. I don't know. I'd, I guess they could. Um, I didn't notice it when I took it out. I just got this one out of uh, some packaging. You can see here that I have an ember already. It doesn't take long. This stuff works really well. It's just basically rust, iron oxide, once uh, moisture and oxygen hit it. I'm going to blow this into a flame. What I was uh, saying a few moments ago, guys, was uh, there are lots of uses for oxygen scavengers or oxygen absorbers, if you want to call them that. Uh, people use them in canning and all kinds of things. So, you know, they have their, their uses. They're definitely uh, a good thing to have. I'm not sure if I said it a while ago, but these guys basically just absorb all the oxygen, or a lot of the oxygen now, not all of it, from uh, food products. And, you know, it helps to maintain the shelf life of those products. And this is just some dried grass that I collected along the way, and uh, I'm just going to take my time here and blow it to flame. It's a pretty day today. I'd say low 70s here, probably mid humidity, you know, it was high humidity last night, a couple of sprinkles, but um, beautiful day today. This stuff works exceedingly well, I mean, like I said, it's, it's a lot like the contents of a, a hand warmer, but it's also another resource because a lot of you guys I know will carry uh, um, beef jerky in your packs. I know I do. <laughs> I like this off-brand locally. It's good stuff. But anyway, guys, you have a good night, and uh, I will catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.